All right, so until now, we actually covered everything. We covered options, we covered methods, and we even covered events using callbacks. But we have a small problem. If we tried to use the drag event, we would notice that it would be really useful to have some information such as where is our property, where is our element right now on the stage. If we're dragging it, that might be useful information that we might need. Using callbacks will be a little bit more complicated, although completely doable, um, to do it. But beyond that, we were talking also earlier in the earlier video about the other reasons why you would want to use events and not only use callbacks. But let's jump in and see how callbacks basically well, we saw how callbacks work. So let's say, for example, we wanted to implement now the drag. Now, in the drag, we already saw how we added a different callback, but we want to see also how do we add a different call, a, a, a different um, um, event. Now, the way we work with events is is really really simple. So let's let's first implement it, and once we implement it, we'll go down into the details of what's inside of it. So let's jump right into the code, and in the code itself, I'm going to go right out of our constructor. Um, of our object, so that would be right here, I believe. Yep, right here. And we're going to call again our dialog itself. So we're going to approach our dialog. And our dialog itself, instead of going to the dialog as we've been doing so far, now once we're in the dialog itself, we want to add an event. And in the event itself, the first thing we want to say is what type of event. And the type of event that we want to add is the drag, right? Because that is the event itself that we're working on. So well, dialog drag is the actual name of it. So drag the drag event is a dialog drag. So we're going to copy that dialog drag. And we're going to add that into our event and literally just go into the documentation and look at it and make sure that you know how to do it. So now that we've added the event, we could we have two options. One we could call this on on um on dialog drag which is a really good naming convention to start your events with an on to make sure that whenever you look at them, you know they're they're a, a callback. They're not a callback, or or you could use that also for callbacks, but once you create that, you could have made it an inline function, but let's, you know, we're doing something different now. So I'm going to call a function, it just is 